everyone welcome back to my channel we had a disaster to clean up today we had a messy living room i really needed to clean these couch cushions and normally i'll take my steam cleaner to them but today we're going to rip off those cushion covers and throw them in the washer because they were so bad so we have a lot of fall decor that's still hanging around and we've got to put that up in the garage and then we had a huge load of laundry to fold, which I'm not going to do in today's video because we just did not have time. We had so many other things going on. We had bigger fish to fry. This house was a disaster. I had a sink full of dishes. Oliver's wallpaper in his room completely fell down. So we're going to try to put that back up. And I'm going to show you some hacks for that that I learned that were really helpful, actually. And I wish I would have known it when we put the wallpaper up for the first time. And uh, we're going to do a room makeover for him pretty soon for like a little toddler room. But for now, I wanted his room to be functional so that he can play in there. And so anyways, lots going on in today's video. We're also going to make a dinner and also a really fun Halloween treat that's super easy. It's like four ingredients. So stay tuned for that. It's at the very end of this video. Thank y'all so much for stopping by today. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. But let's jump right in. To get by, we're one step closer to find ourselves a perfect place. A feeling you just can't deny. On this day, I really did not feel like cleaning, to be honest. I waited until the very end of the day to start, and I hate when I do that because then I'm like out of energy. And so anyways, I jumped up, I grabbed an iced coffee, and I was like, we're going to do this because I'm not cleaning over the weekend. I want to go do something fun, maybe the pumpkin patch, do something with Oliver, and I do not want to have to worry about my house being a wreck. So anyways, we jumped up and we took care of business, and I was so glad that I did at the end of the day because we didn't even get it all done. This was a Wednesday. And so on Thursday, we got to finish it up, and then now we can enjoy our weekend. So if you're watching this in the morning on Friday, get up, get your iced coffee, get whatever it is is your favorite drink, and get your stuff done so that you can enjoy the rest of your weekend. That is always such a good feeling. But anyways, let's clean along together. We're going to get so much done in today's video. To get by, you better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rockin' it. a brand new duster so I'm showing you how gross our fan was it had been a minute since I did that and I looked up on this day and I was like oh that's gross it was like caked in dust so we got that taken care of Will was like why don't you use a pillowcase and he loves that hack but the reason I didn't hear is because I can't reach the fan and I would have had to get like a ladder we're not doing all that <laughs> we're actually going to use a ladder in today's video but that'll be in Oliver's room but anyways I just grabbed that and knocked the dust off and we're moving on we're going to vacuum here in a second anyways we always have to turn on our little cozy ambiance so we've got like a fireplace going on the tv and we are going to vacuum in here now. I'm on the hunt for a new vacuum. I've loved this Dyson for three years, but I really want something that has really good suction power because I feel like our house needs a really good, like strong suction vacuum because ever since we've lived here, we've just used this little Dyson and it's not super powerful. So I'm on the hunt for a new vacuum. And when I vacuum with my new vacuum, I'm gonna show it on YouTube to show y'all how much dust and dirt and debris I pick up. The reason I know that it's probably really bad is because every time I steam clean, my steam cleaner gets those chunks of dirt and dust and hair and it's just so gross. So I really wanna get a new vacuum. So I'm on the hunt for that. If you have a good recommendation, leave it down below. I love Dyson because they're convenient and you can just pull them off the, the wall and use them and you don't have the cord and all that. 
and they are convenient. I'll always have a Dyson probably, but I just want a really good clean vacuum, like cleaning vacuum so that I can get all of the dirt and dust up. This little vacuum is awesome too. I like to use this at the end of the night if my house is already reset, but on this day we had a lot of cleaning to do and I wanted to do a, li a little bit of a more deep clean. Behind this was a stick bug. That was interesting. So we got that all sucked up. And anyways, just tons and tons of cleaning going on in today's video. I feel like our house gets really bad like once or twice a month because a lot of the times I'm filming decorating videos and there's decor everywhere and then while I'm decorating Oliver is playing and making a huge mess which is fine but it doesn't always happen where we get everything cleaned up at the end of the day so we're taking care of it now and honestly I don't mind like once or twice a month doing a really good deep clean that's actually probably good for our house anyway so that's what we're doing today lots and lots of deep cleaning we had some stains on our kitchen cushions we had some really dirty windows where Opie and Oliver like to talk to each other out the back door and just some sticky messes gross kid messes we're getting it all taken care of we got this. I have never in my life been so eager to tell y'all about a product in my life. This brown butter coffee creamer is so good, y'all. It's by Coffee Mate. I had never tried it before this. It's like a limited edition for the holidays, which is really sad. That means it's not going to be here probably after January. And so I'm going to go stock up. It is so good. I can drink my coffee in two gulps because it's that good. And so I definitely recommend it. Y'all have to go to Walmart, get yourself some. Let's buy them out so that they know we love it and they keep it year round because it's honestly not, you know, it's not a Christmas flavor. I feel like it would be perfect for year round. But anyways, I love that coffee creamer. We had some stuff going on over here on the front door. I'm not sure what it was, but I'm just taking some multi-surface spray and wiping that down. Sometimes when you live in your house, you don't really notice things like this very often. So it's good or it's kind of nice sometimes to like look around and see if you have cobwebs or marks on the walls or the doors. And we actually found several cobwebs in today's video too, which was really creepy. So we knocked those down. But anyways, definitely go get yourself some of that coffee creamer. If you know, you know, that takes everything out of me every single time because once you dry those cushions, they're tighter than they were and so it takes forever to push those things back on. I sped it up like eight times the speed. It took me forever and I was worn out by the end of that, but I was so glad to have our couches all cleaned up. And now we're moving on into the kitchen nook. I love how our hutch is decorated for Halloween. I wish it could just stay like that for so much longer. I know that the months are just flying by right now, but I love how our Halloween hutch turned out. If you missed my Halloween decorating video, I'll link it below. That was last week. But anyways, we're going to get this table all cleaned up. And while I was doing this, I noticed how gross our blinds were, which I thought was kind of bizarre because these are, you know, fairly new blinds in their wood and you wouldn't think they would be like all slopped up but I got close to them and I was like gross I need to clean those so I'm gonna have to go to the store and get some stuff to do that and also we had these little stickers all over our back door and baby fingerprints and dog fingerprint or paw prints and so we needed to get that cleaned up I love using spray away for that and once again more marks on the walls and the door so we're gonna get all of that taken care of but we are going to have to do those mini blinds soon. And then these are the cobwebs that I was talking about. I was knocking this one down and a spider actually fell and I was screaming. But I, I just spared y'all from that. And then over here in this corner there was more cobwebs. And then as you can see I missed a couple so I had to go back later and get those. But these are our kitchen chairs. Now I've been trying to get a new table for our dining room because we need some more chairs for Oliver. It's been just me and Will for the last you know several years because he had his little high chair. But now he needs a place at the table. So we're on the hunt for that. I told y'all 
a couple weeks back that I found one on Marketplace that I really wanted, but the guy sold it to somebody else before I could get it. So I was really sad. It was perfect. It was the perfect color, the perfect size, but it's not an option anymore. So I'm gonna have to look for something similar. But anyways, I'm just taking some OxyClean and getting these chairs all cleaned up. These chairs are on their last leg. They're just from Amazon, but we're hopefully getting a new table soon. you look at that i said my friend what you're looking at i think she is something for me excuse me miss it's my first time here maybe you can show me out of here i think she got something in me so please forgive my rudeness if i'm tripping over your time but you look so amazing and we Okay, we just got home from Walmart. Ollie and I were shopping hungry today, so we found lots of yummy things. Plus, I wanted to make a few things this week. I've been really craving crock pot chicken. I don't care what kind it is. I could do chicken and gravy. I could do Mississippi chicken or just even a chicken salad with the crock pot chicken on top. So I got chicken and then I got lots of stuff to put with it. I don't know why I'm in a chicken mood lately. So got the chicken, we got bacon and ground beef here to make several different kinds of meals with um, the chicken and the beef and then also bacon for breakfast and then I put I got these little cranberries because I found a really fun salad recipe that I'm gonna make this week and I got all of our some muffins that we could not wait until we got home to break into he ate some of those in the store along with several of these other things but anyways um also picked up some pineapple chunks Oliver's been loving pineapple lately we needed some baby wipes we got some more vanilla Greek yogurt a gallon of milk and then I always like this Hendrickson's original sweet vinegar and olive oil dressing. I put that on all of my salads. I have a salad that I'm going to make probably tonight or tomorrow. And it is a strawberry salad with like candied pecans and stuff. And this is perfect because it's not too sweet. And I love that. So that's amazing. I got some pecans. I'm going to candy those tonight. I got some white bread, some King's Hawaiian rolls. We're going to do some Italian subs this week with pepperoni, salami, and ham. Probably banana peppers. I'm on a banana pepper kick right now. And then also got some more iced coffee. Ran out of deodorant. The Secret Shower Fresh smells so good. I've been using that for years since college. And I love it. We also got some Honey Nut Cheerios under Oliver's request. And then he asked for those as soon as he got home. I poured him a big bowl and he didn't even eat it. So that's fun. Um, I grabbed some more of this Raw Kids Strawberry Vanilla Bubble Bath. It's also a body wash. This smells so good. It's the best kids body wash slash bubble bath in the world. It does not last very long because it's not very big. So I want to see if I can find it in bulk. And then Oliver has also been asking for one of these because Will uses one of these and he has been wanting one. So we got him that. I ran out of vanilla and we're about to do lots of fall baking. So I had to pick some of that up. We also ran out of the most essential <laughs> seasoning ever, which is garlic salt. So we had to get some more of that. Got an 18 count of eggs, some Brussels sprouts. I've been noticing that we've been doing like lots of soup and salad and haven't really been giving Oliver very many vegetables. So I'm hoping if I roast these up with some garlic, salt, and pepper that he will love them. We'll see about that. I also got some strawberries for my salad and also Oliver loves that. Oliver is obsessed with these unsweetened applesauce packets. And so we got a big pack of that. I get these little romaine hearts the big old thing of them there's three in there and each one makes one really giant salad so i love doing that i usually eat about three salads a week anyway so that's perfect got all of our some mini corn dogs and then i picked up some fiesta blend cheese normally i get mild cheddar but i noticed my mom always uses this and when she bakes her stuff it like blends so well and it's so melty and delicious on her casseroles and stuff so i'm gonna try that this time got some sweet potatoes. Will and I were having a conversation last night and I was like, I don't even think Oliver's ever had a sweet potato before. And so I'm going to introduce him to those this week. I also picked up some more coffee creamer. I also picked up some regular potatoes. And then this is the pepperoni. The, we already broke into that by the way, the salami and ham, and then some provolone cheese. And we're going to put all of that on the King's Hawaiian rolls and melt that in the oven with some garlic butter on top excited about that meal and then I've got some avocados for avocado toast I've been missing my avocado toast lately I've also been missing my goat cheese it's been a minute since we bought either one of those things so I'm excited to 
incorporate that back into my breakfast routine. Got some pork and beans because if you've been around for a minute, we make bean casserole at least once a week. You've noticed that we have not taken advantage of these frozen dinners enough as parents. Sometimes it's just way too hard to break out all of the ingredients and make a full blown homemade dinner. So we're gonna do that this week. This is so good. We actually had this one last night and Will was like, you have to get some more of that. That's blackened chicken Alfredo from the Zatarain's brand. We love that. Oliver, I don't think he's ever had tater tots. So we're gonna try those. And then here's our shell noodles for our bean casserole. Let's see what else. Okay, I'm gonna try some Mississippi chicken this week. And what you do is you put the chicken in the crock pot with your ranch and your au jus. And you put, I believe it's like butter and maybe something else. I'll try to link the recipe below. But it looks so good. Oh, banana peppers, duh. That looked so good. And I've just been craving some crock pot chicken. So I'm excited to do that with like some mashed potatoes. Maybe that's the meal we'll have Brussels sprouts with. And then we also got some string cheese and bananas, but that's pretty much it for our haul today. I also picked up some toilet paper and paper towels, but now I've got to put all of this away and I will spare y'all from that because I've got to clean out my fridge and my pantry the whole nine. And I just like to do that off camera because it's kind of therapeutic. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Please tell me how to keep my sink from getting like this because it gets like this probably on a daily basis and it's disgusting and it's so funny because I watch other people clean their houses you know on YouTube and wherever else on TikTok reels and they always only have like two or three dishes in their sink when they're doing their dishes and I'm like okay well I don't know what I'm doing wrong here but I'm obviously using way too many dishes we cook a lot at home for breakfast lunch and dinner and then also you know throughout the day I'm making like different recipes and stuff so that's probably part of it but this is disgusting so we're gonna go ahead and run the garbage disposal and get rid of all of that nasty water and we're going to switch out our scrub daddy sponge because he ended up falling in this disgusting water but anyways I don't know how y'all do it because I actually keep up with the dishes pretty well I think throughout the day like I do dishes after every meal just about but somehow we still get this many dishes every day on a daily basis um now sometimes I won't get to them like after lunch or something and then they start to pile up so maybe that's what it is but I don't know y'all are doing better than I am when it comes to dishes I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands because that was so gross and then we're gonna get to washing some dishes by hand I grabbed out a new scrub daddy sponge listen if y'all don't have this scrub daddy sponge holder yet you've got to get it it's so cool and it doesn't ever fall I love that my sponge is always safe and secure right there on the side and it looks so much better than that basket that I had and this is Oliver's little monster cup that I put in his boo basket and I thought I could just wash the lid and then put the other part in the dishwasher the lid lights up, so I was like, I'm not going to put that in there. But the bottle actually shriveled up in the dishwasher, so the Monster Cup is no more. I'll have to go get him another one. That was kind of sad. But now we're just washing our little pan that we made baking on this morning, and then we'll move on. I've been dreaming about you 
every night I see your clearest day It's just something about the way you make me feel Cause I can't concentrate anytime you're beside me if you missed my announcement on the community page, I'm actually going to start uploading twice a week, once on Sunday and once on Friday. So I'm really excited about that. I was really missing y'all throughout the week and I felt like I was just never on YouTube. And I want to be more consistent and more present on this platform. I'm always over on Instagram and on my Instagram stories, but I want to be more present here. So that's what we're going to do. The reason I haven't been doing that recently is because I'm trying to spend time with Oliver and play with him and teach him but he's, he's big enough now where I can get stuff done and he helps me and he loves that. So I wanna do like more of a cleaning, decorating style video on Sundays and then maybe on Fridays do a more fun video. It'll still be cleaning and decorating, but maybe more shop with me's and hauls and decorating, things like that. So we'll see how that goes. It'll be back and forth. Sometimes probably I may have a big cleaning video on a Friday once in a while, but anyways, that's what we're planning to do this month. So if y'all come back on Sunday, this is, this is a video going out on Friday, but if you come back on Sunday, we'll have a new video again, and I'm hoping to be decorating our backyard and cleaning it all up. It's a hot mess. It's been a mess all summer because Oliver would not get in the pool, so we drug so many toys out there to keep him entertained, and it is trashed. So we're going to get that taken care of, and I want to get some new string lights and get our fire pit running, some new plants in our planters so that we can go out there in the evenings and do s'mores and relax. But now we are going to throw some brownies in the oven because here in a little bit I'm going to show you a super cute little Halloween snack. Now we are headed into Oliver's room. His room has been out of commission for a few weeks now because his wallpaper fell down and it's just really hard to get him not to go over there and touch it and play with it and then it gets all stuck together and it's a mess so we've really just been keeping the door shut in here. Once in a while I'll come in here and let him piddle with stuff but I'm ready to get this taken care of so that he can play in here. His birthday is in a month and he's going to be two years old and I think it's time for him to have a little toddler room now so I'm looking forward to fixing this room up pretty soon. I've been finding some really cute ideas on Pinterest and I really just want to rip this wallpaper down. I want to rip it down and I want to just paint because I'm tired of 
dealing with the bubbles in it and having to put it up and down or it coming down and me putting it back up all the time. This has happened twice and it's been up for two years. So I think it's our textured walls. The peel and stick paper sticks typically better on the smoother walls. But I did find a product on Amazon today that I wanted to tell you all about. And so that's what we're going to be using. It's called Easy Hang. It's going to be helping us have our wallpaper stick a little bit better. You're supposed to spray it on the back of the wallpaper, but when I was starting out, I was like, I'm just gonna spray the wall and see what happens. But what this does is it makes it really easy to move the wallpaper around until you get it where you want it. And when we first got this wallpaper, it was terrible. It was sticking together terrible. And I remember just like, oh, I was so irritated with it. I was up till 3 a.m. trying to get it to stop sticking together and get it on the wall. And so this stuff was a game changer when it came to that. And it also helps it adhere to the wall a little bit better. And so that's what I was really hoping what it would do on this day because I really need it to stay up for at least a month until we can get his room figured out. Um, but anyways, I'm looking forward to transforming this room into a little toddler room. And I was going to ask y'all if you have any really good ideas about toy storage for a small room. Let me know down in the comments below because he's got that big long dresser on the other side of the room and that holds his clothes and stuff. But really I don't need that much room for his clothes so I was thinking about maybe using a couple of those drawers for his toys or just moving a dresser into his closet and doing toy storage all over that wall on the other side of the room. But anyways, let me know what kind of toy storage y'all use and whenever I figure this out, I will definitely share it on Facebook. We'll do a little room makeover video and show you everything that we do. But I'm excited to get this back in order for him so that he can play in here. Okay, dinner tonight is courtesy of the Walmart Deli, and I'm so excited because this should be super easy to throw together. But basically, we're gonna take these King's Hawaiian rolls, Oliver has already broken into them, and we're going to pile them full of some Italian meats. These are called Hot Italian Sub Sliders. And so it's black forest ham, pepperoni, salami, and provolone. Highly recommend getting your meat from the deli rather than from a box. It tastes so much better, and the texture is way better. And then on top of that, um, actually in between the provolone and the meat, I'm gonna put my banana pepper rings because I made a sandwich with these meats the other day and the banana pepper rings kind of made the bread soggy. So we're gonna put it underneath the cheese and hopefully that works out really well. And then on top of the buns, we're going to use some melted butter. I'm gonna mix in some Italian seasoning and garlic in there with that. And we're gonna put it over the top of the rolls and then bake them. I think I'm gonna do like 350 for probably 10 to 15 minutes. It actually calls to cover it with foil and bake for like 30 minutes, but usually it melts way quicker than that. And the rolls get toasty pretty quick. So let's get this started. Kick my shoes up if I want. Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty. Honey, let's just face it. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Fun fact, I actually worked at Subway all through high school and college and I absolutely loved working there. One day I want to own a Subway. I just love that restaurant so much. But they have a sandwich called the Italian BMT and it has pepperoni and salami and ham. And that's what I got for years. That was my favorite sandwich. And so when I saw this recipe on Pinterest, I was like, I have to make that. I love banana peppers. We always have those on hand. And so we threw this together and for the topping on top of the rolls, we just put the garlic butter with the Italian seasoning. Y'all, when I say this is my favorite slider that I've ever had, I'm not kidding. It was so good. Now, I will say, be very, like, don't put too much butter on the buns because the bottom of them got soaked a little bit too much and some of them were soggy. Some of them weren't, some of them were, but anyways, that's just my little tip there. These were so delicious, the most flavorful and delicious sliders I've ever had, and I just paired it with some chips and fruit, and it's such a easy, like, weeknight dinner. If your kids are in school, you can just throw it together, and it's so yummy. You can do better, I dare you to be wilder I 
Okay, right, now we're gonna make a cute little Halloween treat. This is a four ingredient treat, super easy. You can throw these together. And it's not really a whole lot of cooking. You can even just buy your brownies, but I went ahead and made some of the Betty Crocker ones. They're so good. We also love the double or triple fudge Ghirardelli brownies. But anyways, what you do is you slice up your brownies just like you always would, and we're gonna make some bat wings out of the Oreos and put some little eyeballs on with our melted chocolate. I've seen those faces. I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial. Cause you want dollar bills right now, but you gotta work real hard. I know you want it to be easy, so let your guard down. I just thought these were so cute, little bats, and I took these over to my sister's house afterward and let my nieces and nephews have at them, and they loved them. So stinking cute, and I was pretty impressed with my brownie cutting skills. Normally when I cut brownies, they like fall into a million pieces, and I was in major focus mode because I knew I couldn't mess them up, and they turned out so cute, so I'm really proud of those, and those are so easy if you're having a party or you need to throw something together really quick. They weren't too hard to make. But I'm just showing you the after effect of this day. We had so much going on for the last actually two days and we got so much done. Our house was so clean and it felt so good heading into the weekend to finally just have everything reset. We're gonna have a really fun weekend, maybe hit up the pumpkin patch, but I hope you all have a really great rest of your day. If you're needing some more cleaning motivation, I will have some more videos linked down below. I've also done lots of decorating this season, so I'll have those linked below as well. But I hope you all have a great weekend and I will see y'all on Sunday, bye.